Jamaica Who is the immigrant? If we are living in the same land and sharing the same sun and now we welcome to Impact Talks, Preston Bang An Chang, a recent high school graduate who will be starting college this fall, a first-generation American whose parents immigrated from Cameroon. In high school, Preston took part in his school's newspaper as a staff writer. Preston has plans to someday open his own radio station. Did I hear that right? Do you want to open your own radio station? Welcome to the show, Preston. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to open your own radio station someday? Radio station? Yeah. Wow, big dreams. I like that. What do you want to study when you go to college this fall? When I go to college this fall, I'm going to be studying journalism. Mm -hmm. And hopefully after four years, yes. maybe a little bit of grad school, probably all of grad school. Well, you better go to grad school. <laughs> I'm from Africa. You go to grad school. I when, know. I, when I come out, I'll have the <laughs> proper expertise yes, and connections exactly. to start off. Yes. work in some place and build myself up. You know, when your parents come here as immigrants, they hustle and they struggle so you can have a better life. So you have no reasons not to push forward because we just had a conversation about the racial profiling and all those things. And I, what did you learn from that discussion? Well, just allow me to see the different points of views, you know, mm -hmm. just how no matter, you know, in America, you know, no matter what you look like, if you're black, you're black. There's yes. no hide in that. There's no, nobody sees you and says, oh, he's Cameroonian. Mm -hmm. Nobody sees you and says, oh, he's Haitian or he's just regular African-American. They yes. just see black. You're black, you're black. So, You know, you, I was going to watch When They See Us, but you really made sure that I see it. Why did you want me to see it? Why did you think it was important for me as your mother and other immigrant mothers like myself? Why do you want us to see this miniseries? Like I said before, it's a culture... Culture, culture shock. Culture shock. Mm -hmm. You know, you're growing up in Cameroon, you're not learning American history, you're learning Cameroon's history. Mm -hmm. you, you Even know, though we do learn, you, but you, not as not... Yeah, it's not, not, it's not, not it's the not social depth, intricacies. You know? Yeah, we study not, about the wars. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're, but you're not learning the about social what's, fabric. The social, what's, what's still going on to this yes. day, what, what are the main problems, mm -hmm. who are, like like uh, they were talking about before, who are the heroes, who yes, are the... Yes, that's know? true. So when they see us, there's a great job is given an educational moment mm -hmm. for just immigrant parents to see that, okay, this can happen to my child because it happened to them and I, and they had nothing to do with anything. Mm -hmm. So they see it and they, they learn from it. Yes. So I think it was very important for you to see it because it's just a great learning opportunity for you mm -hmm. to really see also what I see. Yes. So do, are you stressed by how you feel that you're being, you're, you're seen? The title is When They See Us. But now let's talk about you. How do you think they see you? Well, I know... Who's they, by the way? They would just be the the people in power. We're more so higher echelon, basically. White people. I, there's no way to sugarcoat <laughs> it, you know? White people. It's just white people. Uh, mm -hmm. Not even just white people, though, because a lot of times it'll be white people, even Latinos, Asian people. You know, it doesn't really matter. When you come to America, there are so many things set, a, set up against black people off yes. the jump. Mm -hmm. Hey, if this is your first time visiting Team TV channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button here below and ring the notification bell so you will be notified when we post new content. You know, they don't tell you about black success stories. They tell you about how black people are criminals. Mm -hmm. They tell you about uh, how these rappers are just always talking about all these bad things in their yeah. songs and how uh, you watch the movies and you want you watch the movies the black man is always the aggressive dude mm -hmm. you know never he can never just be the cool collect, calm collected person he's always the aggressive yes. person in the movies for some reason he's always fighting somebody and stuff mm -hmm. like that so even as other immigrants when they see that stuff and they come to america that's the judgment they have because that's what it's been portrayed like yes um, like uh, who said it? I think Nico said it with with the with controlling the media. Yes, it's just like that. The media portrays us a certain way, so mm -hmm. when people see that, that's how they judge everybody. So me, I'm judged no matter what I do. So that's why, I, like I told you the other day, I think I always have to kind of like it's it's a terrible thing that I have to do, but I always have to prove myself. I shouldn't have to prove myself, but I always got to prove that I'm not the stereotype. I'm not this bad person like i walk into a room of white people i have to be the most polite person in that room mm -hmm. if i act out one time it immediately switches from person's a nice guy to person's just another black guy Ugh, that just kills me so 
how does this make you feel mentally? Mentally, let's say if I was a African kid, like born in Cameroon, and I just came to America and I started experiencing these things, my stress level would probably be up there. I'd be like, yo, what is going on? Yeah. But seeing as I've lived in it for so long, as soon as I was born, I was judged. There was no taking that back. As soon as a black sure. child in America is born, they are already judged. Their, their, their future is predetermined. It's not predetermined, but, you know, people's views of their future is predetermined. Yeah, Teachers don't believe in you the way they should. They don't want to teach you the way they should. They don't want to put you in the classes the way they should, you know. As soon as you're born. I've already lived with it. I know how I should act. It's terrible that I need to act a certain way, but I know how I should act. Mm -hmm. So just based off of that, I've learned just to be who I am, always be proper. Yeah. And do you think that African parents or people of African descent from the Caribbean, from Africa, do you think that we understand what our children experience? Um, I think some do and some don't. I mm -hmm. think that the, the ones who choose to actually learn it, mm -hmm. they will learn. You know, right. the, the ones who don't want to get it, they won't get it. Because I've met a lot of people who were born in Africa or just some other country, mm -hmm. and in their heads, it's simply black people... Mm -mm. Or, or or black people are lazy. That's the biggest one. Black people are lazy. So therefore, when I see black people, I'm going to assume that they're lazy. I'm going to assume that they're this. And instead of actually going and talking to a black person or seeing the black success stories, mm -hmm. they just go off of that basis. So I think with immigrants who are coming, you know, like immigrant parents, just got to actually go and learn. Talk right. to an African-American. You know, mm -hmm. they're, they're not scary. They're the people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first. Thank you. So, how do you plan on making a difference? Me, I just want to have a plan. I, that's the whole point of why I want to have my own uh, radio. I want to talk about these things, you know, because. Because you control the media, you control mm -hmm. the views. You control right? the views. I want to talk about these things. I want to let it be known that it doesn't have to be this way. Mm -hmm. It's only this way if people make it this way. Okay. That's, the, that's the whole thing with racism. It's just mm -hmm. people made it that way. It has not, it's, it's not in any DNA. Right. There's not a racist gene in anybody. People made it that way. That's true, son. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. And uh, I said this episode was really shaped by my conversations with you. I hope that um, other mothers and fathers will hear you and have heard and uh, that they can find something resource that something resourceful will come out of this show. Do you have any social media connects? Follow me <laughs> on Instagram and on Twitter at p.bang. That's P-D-O-T-B-A-N-G. That's pretty much my handle. <laughs> thank you. You've been great. So thank you for being here. We wish you success in college. Hopefully, now that you're grown, I'm not going to have to say press and wake <laughs> up when you go to college. And that you do great things so you can come back and make that difference. And nobody can say black people are lazy. Yep. I know you're not. You're very smart. And this is Impact with Pamela Ann Chang on Pacifica Radio, KPFK 90.7 FM. Thanks for watching today's video. For more Team TV videos about immigrant lifestyles, click on the subscribe button here below and ring the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload new content. We upload new content every single week. See you next time on Team TV.